Hi, so I'm here in uh, Celebration, Florida, not too far from Walt Disney World, and I'm with Janet Estevez, who has the Guinness World Record for the biggest Mickey Mouse collection. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I, I'm great, and we're in front of your car here, which is <laughs> decked out in Mickey, perfect for the uh, number one Mickey Mouse fan, as the license plate says. Now, how did you get started collecting Mickey Mouses? Well, Mickey Mouse is such a lovable creature. I don't know. I, what can I say? It's Everybody likes Mickey. I love Mickey since I was a little girl. And uh, it's just, uh, it, turn, it, it turned out that, that I just wanted to have the m many Mickeys and many Mickeys and many Mickeys. And that's the way it is growing and growing and it's still growing. About how many Mickeys do you have in your collection? Well, registered at the Guinness, it's 5,532. I, I still have a lot of boxes that I haven't <laughs> cataloged yet on the, Disney, uh, on the Guinness record. And do you mind if we go in and take a look at this? My pleasure. All Please right. come and join us. Now, I'm looking over here and these look to be very, very precious, kind of blinged <laughs> out Mickeys over here. And these Mickey ears up here, uh, 50th ears, um, I'm assuming those are from the 50th anniversary of Disneyland, correct? That is correct. That's Swarovski's, uh, they uh, to commemorate Disneyland's 50th anniversary back in, 19, in 2005, um, uh, Swarovski made those uh, uh, earrings. But years but since I turned 50 that year too <laughs> my husband got them for me and down here I'm seeing some Mickey ears and it looks like Annette Funicello's autograph yes that that's correct that's Annette Funicello's uh, we got that uh, back in the 80s uh, yes and now that that she's no longer here with us that's very precious to me right now what was the very first Mickey do you have the first Mickey that started the whole collection off I have the first Mickey who started the collection, but um, <laughs> don't laugh, please. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a clown collection when I was a little girl, oh. and uh, this Mickey Mouse dress as a clown was in that clown collection. When I changed my collection from clowns to Mickeys, I kept this one, so I can say that this has to be the Mickey first Mickey that started this collection. And when you are submitting to Guinness World Records and you're, you've held the title for several years now, how do you how do you keep the title uh, that's, going? That's uh, that's the thing. You have to itemize everything that you're going to submit to Guinness. And uh, so every year, if like if I add a pin here, I have to put that now I have 57 or 58. Actually, it's over 2,000. But anyway, <laughs> but in in each tray, I keep a little number, you know, and, and then I say, well, okay, now I had 58 here. Now I'm going to have 59, or, and then I, that's how I add them up at the end of the year or whenever I'm going to submit to to Guinness. Mm -hmm. And then I get I have to have two people to come over here and 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 actually uh, verify the the collection is. Now, uh, your family, what do they think of this whole collection? Well, uh, we have three daughters. They, they, they grew up with Disney, and they had their, their favorite characters, too, when they were growing up. But once they grew up and got married, then they still fond of Disney, but they don't have a collection anymore. So I, I'm still a little girl inside, believe it or not. <laughs> so I, I, I do have my collection, but they, they love my collection. They, they, they're happy that, that I'm happy with my collection. And now with the grandkids, they are sim simply thrilled with, uh, <laughs> with this, and they love coming here and playing with uh, my toys. <laughs> Now, and how do you make sure that they don't get some of the more valuable toys? Well, they have this is their room. They know they can play with anything in this room, especially from that shelf down. Everything is plastic. Everything is childproof. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's, they're not. Uh, you know, they're toys, and they can play with them. They know they they if they want to go to the Mickey room, they ask permission. They just look, but they know they can't touch anything there. There's nothing they would like to do. But here, they have plenty of toys. Now, so, what are some of the most expensive? of items you have in your collection? Well, obviously the Swarovskis are very expensive and uh, the artwork is expensive too. Uh, probably this is the most uh, expensive one we have in this house and uh, it was done 10 years ago when uh, Mickey turned 75 and uh, Willardson did a whole series of different 75 different Mickeys. This is one of the posters and this is my favorite one. 
It looks it looks great. I love that art style. Now, do you have a um, a dream for this collection? Like, are you... <laughs> dream for this collection? Of course, I have a dream. Uh, but I have a really nice wish. I do wish that Mickey Mouse would sometime come over here and sit down in the living room with me, have coffee or cheese or whatever, and see my collection and notice how much I love him. All right, Janet, I, I think this may be the hardest question, but of all the Mickeys you have, what is your favorite? <laughs> all of them are my favorite, but the one that gave me the biggest surprise was this one. For my 50th birthday, I, you know, my husband usually asks me what I want, and then he asks, uh, "Do you have this Mickey? Do you have this Mickey? Do you have this Mickey?" But he knew I didn't have this one, so behind my back he went and he got it for me, and it was a huge surprise. I can't tell you how exciting it was to get him. So I, I do believe because of the big surprise I got that day, I think it has to be my favorite Mickey. And with Halloween coming up here very soon, do you? change your decorations every now and then for season? Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. I put all my Halloween here and outside. I have a, this shelf. This is my shelf that I that I keep uh, ready for uh, Christmas and Halloween, uh, 4th of July, St. Patrick's, Easter. And, the, and probably, yeah, I do, I do Valentine's too. <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have to come by and see some of the seasonal decorations. Oh, definitely. You just be my guest. Just come over anytime you want. Just give me a call and, and I'll get ready for you. <laughs> All right, Janet. Thank you so much what for giving a us pleasure. a tour. Thank you. Thank you so much.